Yo, 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 what's good, homies at home? That's your boy RC here again, right getting into this video by Top 10. It's called 10 Bizarre Reasons People Were Arrested. Now, I can't wait to check out this list. I can't wait to see it. This is the first for me actually seeing this video. Um, I've seen people get, well, I haven't seen, but I've heard of people getting arrested for some bizarre shit, like some fucked up shit. Like something that's stupid that just makes me wonder why some people are police officers but anyway let's go ahead and get into the video remember to smash the like button leave a comment subscribe share follow me on twitter or rc underscore reacts follow me on instagram or rc reacts let's go ahead and jump into this video right now all right i can't wait to get into this video by top tens hey guys what's up it's charlie here and today we're going to be looking at hey, the 10 charlie. weirdest reasons people got arrested the reasons people. these people were arrested are so weird and stupid and in some cases you won't oh, believe well. why these people would do the things they did <laughs> drop a exactly. like if you enjoy let's aim for 4,000 likes on this video the because it really does help me out sometimes. so coming in at number 10 we have vagina gun i know you guys are probably thinking what <laughs> the fuck heard, is the title of I've this one and if you're thinking the title sounds weird when i tell you the story it doesn't get any less weird so this teenager from I've tennessee in america called dallas got pulled over for driving with a suspended license the really? police took her in and gave her a mandatory search when she was being booked. A when suddenly through search. the x-ray, a policeman noticed a really weird object in the girl's vagina. So they got a policewoman to take her into the bathroom and strip search her. And she found a four inch long revolver in the girl's the actual, vagina. The police guy. traced the gun back to another man who Dallas had stolen it from about a year ago. What? How long had that thing been up there? Anyway, Dallas was charged with weapons <laughs> possession, driving with a suspended license, and bringing of course, a gun a white girl into a police would do station. This. The police tried to give the gun back to its owner, but he refused. And I'm glad he did, otherwise he'd be a freak for one to have that but exactly. talking of freaks who puts a gun in their vagina imagine if that <laughs> shit had gone off i don't even want to think about that so coming up next is sex with a picnic table in 2008 a guy named Art this. Prince I think this was, was arrested after dumbest. someone saw him turning over a picnic table and having sex with it it was some mum with somebody, kids who called the police wow well, that mum's gonna need to have a really weird talk with her kids and that wasn't the first time that Art had been seeing having sex with furniture his what? neighbors caught him having sex with a load of different outdoor furniture before then again this guy does have a face that kind of says i will literally rape your lawn Chair. So next time yeah. you think someone just spilt mayonnaise on the picnic table, <laughs> Bruh. Nah, that's okay. way too fucked up. Okay, so okay. coming up next is opening Christmas gifts too early. So uh -huh. Christmas, it's usually a great time for kids, but not for this 12-year-old boy from South Carolina in America. On the 24th of December in 2006, one day before Christmas Day, his mum called the police on him because he opened one present early without her permission. That's what? right, not even all of his presents, just one. She mainly freaked out because it was a Game Boy which cost her $85, <laughs> so it was kind of his main gift and his mum's really pissed off. In an Bro, interview with real. a local newspaper, she said her son is a really bad kid. Well, if he's opening Christmas presents early, then who knows what else this kid does. People as evil stupid. as this kid deserve to be locked up in a room with just this guy. You wanna put my foot through the fucking game <laughs> and step on it game. until it's nothing but blood and pulp on the fucking page! <laughs> I'm just kidding, but seriously guys, she thought that getting well, him arrested would make him really well behaved. Well, I don't know about that, but it is guaranteed to make him fucking hate you. Mm -hmm. So coming up next is not returning a football. Not I don't know how many of you guys really? watching are 88 year old grandmas who hate little kids. Well, if you are, you might not so, like this one. In 2008, an 88 year old grandma named Edna Jester was arrested in Ohio in America. And you're probably asking, what had this woman done? For well, not have a guess. Football. Guess again. Wrong! She actually got arrested for not wow. returning a football that had landed what? in her backyard. A 14 year old kid was Bruh. playing football with a friend when he accidentally threw the football over the fence and into a backyard. So he went around to a house to ask for it back and she refused to give it back. The neighbor kept asking but she said no so the neighbor decided to call the police on her. You're seriously going to call the police on an 88 year old? Couldn't you have just hopped the fence? Anyway, exactly. when the police showed up they said she Dumbass. had to give the ball back or they would arrest her. And she refused to give the ball back so they arrested her. But she didn't serve any jail time, in fact she just got a little fine. So coming up next is sex with street signs. So in 2008, what? police were called to a random street in Bro. South Dakota in America because this 60 year old man called Burley Dills was having sign. sex with a what? street sign. The police were called by a family who had seen him on their front yard, which just so happens to have a street sign on it. Imagine wanting to open your curtains Why in the morning keep some fresh air, the singing birds. Okay, I don't do that in the morning. But imagine you look out your window at all and you sex see this guy trying to have sex with a street <laughs> sign. But yeah, but at that point, I think I just give up on humanity. Anyways, mm -hmm. afterwards, the police searched his house and they found tons of footage of him masturbating 
violating and having sex to other street signs. He was what? arrested and charged with trespassing and public indecency. This guy needs some serious mental help, yeah, not exactly prison time. Well, maybe a bit health. of prison time too. And mental health. Next up on this list is stealing dog shit. Now, as you guys may know, some people have some Bruh, really weird sexual fetishes. I've even made a whole what? video about these weird fetishes, but I didn't include this in it, so I may as well put it on this video. <laughs> Basically, in 2011, in a, a guy called David from Cornwall in England was arrested for stealing dog shit from a neighbor's backyard, and he wouldn't just steal Bruh, he looked like Steal it, he would roll around in it and try to <laughs> have sex like with the dog shit. Or at least he tried to have sex with it. It's probably quite hard to have sex with dog shit. I mean, I imagine at least. I, I wouldn't personally know, but... <laughs> anyway, he told the police Wait, he was no, apparently whoa. in love with dog shit and he was just trying to declare his love for it. Okay, I don't know if this is a sexual fetish or... This sounds like somebody with a mental disability. How are you gonna have... Bruh. I, I can't. So this guy I can't is just straight up that. insane. Anyway, apparently he had a diary where he recorded all of the shit he did with, well, shit. And that was used against him in court. That's right, guys. David got four years in prison for doing the nasty stuff he kept doing to his neighbor's dog shit. He looked like a sick pedophile. He, look, he just looked like a freak. He looked like somebody that would literally have sex with dog poop. Like, ooh. Some of these people are just what this even is, is the this weirdest list that I've so ever heard. So coming up next is Wife of. Getaway. So this one is wife coming getaway. from Pennsylvania in America. Mm. Now the reason this guy wife got getaway. arrested isn't that weird, but the reason why he did the crime is absolutely insane. Mm. If you're confused, don't worry, you'll understand in a minute. Basically, mm. in 2007, there was a guy called Anthony Miller, and one day Anthony walked into a bank with a gun and demanded a bunch of money. And what? then after collecting the money, he waited for about four minutes in the bank. And eventually, the police showed up and arrested him at the scene. And they found the gun wasn't real, and it was just a BB gun he bought at Walmart earlier that day. When the police asked him why he didn't run, he said he actually wanted to get arrested he to get away from, his, from wife. his wife. That's right, he robbed a bank knowing he'd be arrested and go to jail, just so he didn't really? have to spend time with his wife. But why didn't this guy just get a plane wow. ticket and just make a sneaky getaway, you might ask? Well, his wife said if he ever left him, she would kill herself. It was revealed after that Anthony had also been in debt and depression, and this was kind of his mental breakdown. In court, Anthony Bro. got four to six years in jail and a recommendation for counselling. I'd say this guy needs more than a fucking recommendation. Exactly. I just hope he doesn't get some kind of prison wife or some shit. I mean, he doesn't look like a very big guy. So, I just have one piece of advice for you, Anthony. Don't drop him. So next up is shouting Don't naked at trees. Show. One day a guy called Dieter Braun was feeling kind of stressed out so he went to see a counsellor. And the counsellor said the best stress release tactic for him would be what? to run around naked shouting at trees. So he went to the what? local forest and he just did it. I think it's pretty obvious this counsellor is just a major troll. It's anyway, troll. the public complained to the police. Yeah, to be honest, troll. I wouldn't be complaining if I was in that forest. I'd be what running for my counsel? life. What in fact, he's a pretty accurate like representation of what trees. I'd be doing. Like, really? Do you have any idea how fast I am? Of course they put the star up here. After that, the police arrested him and he said it actually does work. I might need to try this because I usually deal with stress in a very different <sighs> way. So coming up Bro. next is bragging Bro. bank thieves. For this one, the reason these guys got arrested isn't too weird. It's more how they got caught, which is stupid. So in yeah. 2011, two Australian guys named Anthony and Luke were in Colorado. And you guys know Colorado is great for skiing, weed, and robbing banks apparently. Mm -hmm. Because these two went into a bank with fake guns and stole almost $200,000 in cash. The pair then went to McDonald's. Where they, posed a they went into a bank with fake guns and stole almost 200k and then went to McDonald's after a celebrate. Sounds reasonable. In the toilets with the money. Did these guys think they're Chief Keef or something? And if you don't <laughs> think these guys are stupid enough, they posted the photos on Facebook. And because of that, they stupid. were caught a day later and the money was taken back. They also that both got stupid. four years in prison, which isn't too bad for a bank robbery, actually. They're you know who this pair of people remind me of? Yep, these guys. Yeah. And coming up last is farting. So in 2008, a guy named Jose what? Cruz was arrested for farting near a police officer. The policeman <laughs> was taking his information at a random stop and search. Oh, and then he apparently farted really? near the policeman. And then the policeman just went ahead and arrested him for it just like that. Now obviously that's nasty as hell to do that right by somebody, but should you really get arrested for it? I don't know if this cop is just abusing his power or what, but what I do know is that this is one dumb reason to get arrested. And that just about wraps up this video. Check out the poll in the top right corner and you guys can vote for the arrest that shocked you the most. For me it's the vagina gun just because that is so gross and weird and also pretty funny. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. That was the craziest list I think I've ever heard. Especially the one with the guy has sex with picnic tables and then a girl with a vagina. Those are two weirdest things I think I've heard in a top 10 list of anything. Top 10 bizarre reasons people were arrested. That shit is crazy. But anyway, I enjoyed the video. I hope y'all did too. Remember to smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe, share, follow me on Twitter at RC underscore reacts, follow me on Instagram at RC reacts. And until next time, it's your boy RC signing off. Much love. Peace.